Welcome back to Squawk Box. Uh, Elon Musk's boring company demonstrating its new tunnel last night in California. Philippo was there and gives us an inside look at the first step in this high-speed tunnel system. Good morning to you, Phil. Hey, Andrew. It was a fun ride last night at the boring company's first loop tunnel, the first completed one, although it's far from finished because it was a bit of a bumpy ride. Still a thrill nonetheless to have a chance to go through there. And people were wondering all along, well, would we actually have people going for rides inside the tunnel? Well, this is what it's like. You get dropped down about 45 feet in a Tesla Model X, not a, some special car or a small, uh, you know, something you sit in that you zip through there you're in an actual car with deployable tracking wheels you can't see it here but once we uh, get through this video you might be able to see it a little bit better there are small wheels that fold out from the front two wheels of the model x that keep you buffering against the two side walls so you can't be steered into a wall we hit a top speed of 49 miles per hour it cost the boring company, $10 million. Actually, that's Elon Musk who put his own money up for that to build this tunnel lasting 1.14 miles long. And according to Musk, this is all about defeating traffic congestion. Traffic has gone from like, just like seventh level of hell to like the eighth level of hell. And you know, it's terrible. Um, so this, this, is, this is, I think that finally, finally, finally there's something Something that I think could solve the goddamn traffic problem. Yeah. A typical Musk event where the crowd loved everything that they heard from him. As you take a look at shares of Tesla over the last three months, we should point out that Elon Musk said that these tunnels, if they can build as many as they would like to, not only in Los Angeles, but in cities around the world, it will be for electric cars only. Obviously, if they have those deployable tracking wheels, they can go in there. That would keep them inside the tunnel and on course. By the way, that top speed of 49 miles per hour, once they smooth out the tunnel, guys, and it was very rough last night, they believe that they can get a top speed in cities of 150 miles per hour. Wow. Interesting to see whether or not this happens. Yeah, so that was the question I had. You said 49 miles an hour, and you said it was a little bit rushed. Rough. What do you mean by that? Oh, well, it was of, rough. Meaning it was the, bumpy. the ground's it, not flat. I want you to imagine, I, I want you to imagine that you are, I mean, you're, you're being buffered back and forth. Was, it, was I being thrown around back and right. forth? No, but it was not a smooth ride. Well, and they admitted that. They said, look, we, we just finished this. We need to smooth it out. The pavers, um, the machines have not gone through and made everything as smooth as possible. Huh. That when it is as smooth as possible, they believe that they'll hit 150 miles per hour. But Phil, not like bumpy, like riding down one of these streets in Manhattan, right? Where I, I, even when I have my four-wheel drive car, I'm dodging all over and getting bounced around. You're, it's, it's, it's a little bit like cobblestone is what it felt like. Um, you didn't hit any big potholes. Right. Um, <laughs> there was nothing like that. But at the same time, I, it, they just bored this, so they haven't smoothed it out yet. Phil, Phil, this was truly uh, an early ride. They're, Phil, they're playing this out, but the thing I don't understand is um, you're going to come down on the elevator. That, that takes time, and then you're going to link up onto this system, and then are these cars all going to go at one time? I mean. How many off ramps are there going to be or on ramps? Because I Elon would think says you can have dozens of them in cities. That's his vision now. Have dozens of these off ramps, okay. entrance ramps, exit ramps throughout cities.